Hello, and welcome to Burlington, Vermont's online collaborative redistricting program called BTV Votes. I'll be doing a quick run-through of the program interface, after which you'll be able to create your own plans for the city's wards. So when you go to the btvvotes.org address, you'll be directed to this login page. To create a new account, if you don't have one already, hit the sign up button. You'll be prompted for a username and password. Once you've entered those and hit sign up, you'll be automatically logged in. If you don't want to create an account just yet and you'd like to see what other people have been drawing for their plans, just enter as a guest. But otherwise, enter your login credentials here and hit login. Once you've logged in, you'll be shown the plan landing page. You can see along the side here there are a few options. First, we're looking at templates. These are plans that are usable by anyone to start from. There's the current council arrangement, which has seven wards, 14 councillors. There's also a blank template if you want to just start from scratch. If you go to My Plans, you'll be shown all the plans that you're currently working on, whether they've been shared or not. Uh, you can see there aren't any for this account yet. If you go to the Shared tab, you can see all the plans that have been shared by others. So let's go back to the templates. Let's start from a current council arrangement. Give it a name. And then hit Start Drawing. And this will create a copy of the current council plan that is in your name. Now we're on the plan drawing page where you can edit the plan that you've started with to conform to whatever your desire is for the ward layout. I'll give you a quick tour of the interface here, some of the features. First, you've got your zoom bar over here. One can zoom in and zoom out. It's also sort of like a Google map interface in that you can click and drag the map around. If you have a scroll wheel, that will also be usable to zoom in and out. The map transparency, if I can zoom in a bit here, can be adjusted this way. So you can see the underlying street names underneath the wards and the blocks. So what you're seeing above the street names here are the basic building blocks of redistricting. These are census blocks. This is the smallest level at which the population of Burlington has been counted, so we use them as building blocks for ward plans. You can see the darker lines here, the thick ones, are the boundaries of wards. Here's the boundary between Ward 2 and Ward 3. And then these thinner lines with the multicolors are the boundaries between blocks. The colors represent population numbers in each of these blocks. If you go to the map legend, you can see that the darkest color represents a block with more than 1,000 people and the lightest one represents a block with no people. You can see this University Place South Prospect Green, nobody lives there, but you can see this large block off of Colchester Ave has a population greater than 1,000. The statistics bar along the side shows each of the wards and some of their characteristics. You can see in this case that each ward is contiguous that means there's no blocks detached from a ward that still belong to a ward. Compactness is an important measure for redistricting. We want to be able to keep the wards as closely packed as possible and not strung out in the look that is fairly commonly associated with gerrymandering. And then along this side, you can see the total population of each of the wards. Now these numbers you can see are fairly different, which is an indication of why the city needs to redistrict in the first place. Ward 1, for instance, has many more people in it than wards 4 and 7, actually many more than any of the other wards. If you go to the city's redistricting webpage, you can see a cheat sheet here of, based on the number of wards you want to create in the city, approximately how many people should be in each of them and what the approximate legal deviation of 10% would be for that number. So working with seven wards as we are right now, you can see that 6,060 people 
plus or minus 600 should be in each of these wards. In this case, you can see that we're pretty far beyond that 600 person deviation for ward one, and the same is true for wards four and seven. The other wards are fairly close to 6,060, certainly within the 10% mark. So to try and address this imbalance, we'll do a few simple edits to the plan. First, we'll zoom in a bit on the boundary between Ward 1 and Ward 2. And then we'll select a single block. Let's try this one here. You can see it's currently assigned to Ward 1. But let's go to the Assign to Ward dialog here, hit the drop down, and select Ward 2 instead. Now you can see a few things happen when you do that. First, the ward boundary line changes. And second, you can see that the statistics have updated automatically. The total population of Ward 1 has gone down. Let's add a few more using a different method. We'll try this polygon select. So once you've selected that tool, hold down the left clicker of your mouse and draw a circle that encompasses all the blocks you'd like to move. You can see all of those blocks are now selected. I'm going to go back to the drop-down and assign these also to Ward 2. You can see the Ward 2 boundary is getting much bigger, and the population of Ward 1 has gone down quite a bit. It's actually close to within its 10% margin now. Now you can see that the population of Ward 1 has gone down, but redistricting is a complicated process and it has a lot of cascading interactions. So you can see, as a consequence, the population of Ward 2 is starting to become too large. This plan will require more work to meet redistricting guidelines, but for now I'd like to get some other eyes on it, so I'm going to share the plan. In order to show this plan to someone else, I'll go to the Share button up at the top of the page. That brings me to this menu, where I can give the plan a name. And then I'll hit Save and Share. Now it's important to note that until I hit that button, my plan is private. I am the only one who can see it. But once I hit that button, it's public to the world. Anybody with this web address is able to see the plan. They're not able to edit it, but they're able to view the configuration that I've given to the city's wards. Now that I've shared my plan, I'm going to go back to the landing page and take a look at how it sits with the other plans in the city. So I'll go to the My Plans tab, and I can see here it's appearing as Seven Wards Demo Plan, and it's shared. So if I go to the Shared tab, I can see that it's right, as, right at the top as the most recent plan that's been shared. Here's where the collaborative component of BTV Votes comes into play. My plan is shared and everyone can see it, but nobody else can edit it except me. However, any other user can create a copy of my plan and use it as a starting place for their own plan of the city. So let's do that with a different user's uh, seven ward plan. We'll select it, give it a new name, and then start drawing. Now you can see this is a different plan. It doesn't resemble the current arrangement. It doesn't resemble the one that I previously drew. But I'm now able to work with this plan without affecting the original copy that that user created. Once I'm done with it, I can share it in the same way, and another user can, uh, can continue the collaboration. Another feature of BTV Votes that's worth noting is that the program supports the creation of up to 15 wards. And you can see there's already one example of that in here. In order to create fewer than seven or greater than seven, just refer back to the city's page on redistricting, uh, where you can see the number of wards and the approximate target populations and deviations. If you go beyond nine, just divide the, to the city's total population by the number of wards you're creating and then calculate deviation as 10% on either side of that number. 
So that's it. You should be able to get started. Thanks for using BTV Votes, and good luck with redistricting.